comics left, and you're going to be glad you step around. Your next comic, this guy, you can see him at every show in the city. He's cracking everybody up. Give it up for Mr. Alex Hill. Mickey C's, what's happening? All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, I don't have to hold that on my feet. Fantastic. How are you guys doing tonight? Excellent. Well, my name's Alex, and I think my dog thinks I'm obsessed with her poop. I'm pretty sure, like I'm like 100%, because let's face it, I let her out like three, four times a day. And every time, I spend the whole time just going, Josie, go poop! Josie, go poop now! I'm gonna be late for work! Josie, go poop! <laughs> and when she does, I pick it up. <laughs> All of it. So anyways, I just broke up with my girlfriend. <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> They're like, oh, that was silly, that's relatable. I, I, I've had a dog before, it pooped. <laughs> I picked it up, the dog was like, that's weird, you're like, I just made that, I don't like that. <laughs> you broke up with your girlfriend. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at that at a bar tonight. Oh, too late, too bad. I'm here, you're here, you're stuck with me for at least another four minutes, maybe. So I broke up with my girlfriend. It's a bummer. Like, I, I thought as soon as we broke up, I was gonna get out there and just get it on all the time, and it never happened. Because <laughs> honestly, I didn't even want to. Like, I haven't even wanted to jerk off. Can I say that here? Yes. Okay. You can say it louder than you want. I know there's a lot of content restrictions, I just want to make sure. But yeah, like, we broke up and I thought I was gonna get out there and do all that, but it didn't happen. I, I don't think I can, because a broken heart can't pump blood. <laughs> I don't know how to work this thing. I do. So yeah, now's the point where I'm gonna look at my notes because uh, this is an open mic and I'm trying new stuff, so thank you. You really don't have to. Reading is fun to know. It is, I'm good at it. Which is why I'm just gonna spend a really long time doing this as if I haven't figured out what the next thing I'm gonna do is. Woo! <sighs> so, parents give you a lot of things you don't want. But, my parents gave me a great gift a couple of years ago. They moved halfway across the country. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, mom and dad, thank you. But my mom had the balls to tell me. She was like, hey Alex, we're gonna move, and uh, I just wanna make sure, like, is that okay with you? Like, you're gonna have to start doing things on your own. You're gonna do the things that we did for you. We can't do them for you anymore. We're moving. Not really. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, get out of here, that's cool. <laughs> but but I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it, it was tough at first. But I found that it's actually really, really easy to shit on your own dreams. <laughs> so I don't need them, I don't fucking need them. Listen, I'm still not getting paid for this, I'm gonna look at my notes again. Come on, guys. It's okay. <laughs> Live life with no regrets! That's the thing sociopaths say. <laughs> Speaking of sociopaths, oh, god damn it. You just got paid. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! I made it! Man, I'm so excited. <laughs> Can't even hold the mic still. Yeah, but I hate my neighbors, because they're really loud. And it's like, if they would stop 
having sex when I'm trying to fall asleep so goddamn loudly, maybe I would stop yelling rape until my other neighbors call the cops on them. <laughs> That's a weird one. You guys don't feel like it. It's like, well, he said rape. I can't live with that. It's not a rape joke, so... Four skin? What happened to one, two, and three skin? Am I right? <laughs> Don't ever play Connect Four skin. <laughs> I'm Alex Hill. Have a great night. Yeah. Uh, the lovely Alex Hill, ladies and gentlemen. Yay. Give it up one more time. All right. We have one last comic for you tonight, and uh, you know, I, I put him at the end for a reason. I love this dude. He's a regular at the Richmond Funny Bone, uh, super funny guy, what a dear, dear, dear friend of mine. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, your closer for the evening, Mr. Jai A. Toller. Jai Hey, Austin, if I don't have a fucking beer, come over here while I'm drinking, I'll whoop your ass. I'm just saying that. <laughs> As many beers as I've been buying and all the tips I've been living, leaving, you know what I meant, shut up, I've been drinking tonight. <laughs> tips I've been living, you know what <laughs> Tips I've been leaving, you know what I meant to say? I better have a fucking drink. I'm just playing also, awesome. now I don't need a no drink. I've been drinking like a whole lot, man. Uh, I've been, uh, I'm gonna talk about some shit. I just said I was just playing. <laughs> I mean, but if, it, but if you give it to me, bring it back, bring it back. I need a glass of I'm gonna drink up. I'll drink out of the cans, man. I'm, stand, I'm, I'm sanitary. Oh. Is that the right word to say it? Hey, shut up, man. I gotta, uh, I'm not gonna be here alone. Uh, thank y'all for like standing out so late. Matter of fact, give y'all selves a round of applause, man. Y'all been here like this whole night. Thank y'all for standing out so late, man. I ain't gonna be here too long. I've been drinking, like I said. I know I got uh, some food I gotta get, some push I gotta eat. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait, no. Woo! Some food I gotta eat and some push I gotta get. Y'all know what I meant. Way. Here's a glass of beer before you kick my ass. Thank you. I appreciate that. And, uh, and I'm just joking. I got a girlfriend. Uh, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna get no pussy. This, uh, if y'all know my girlfriend, don't be telling her I'm talking about these jokes. I'm gonna be mad. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is, uh, all right, shut up. Here's the thing. Alright, so I was with my girlfriend since earlier this year, right? March. Somebody else had, oh, this is my, my reflection. I was waving my phone. <laughs> I saw the light. I've been drinking. So here's the thing. We talked about getting married, and and we're definitely gonna get married. Like my girlfriend means the world to me. Here's the thing, though. Like this is the thing that I'm not gonna say in front of her yet. And so I'm trying it out here to try to figure out how I'm gonna say it to her and we had this conversation. Because I do intend to marry her, but she likes what is like big old wedding type stuff. I'm not I'm not big on big weddings. I'm I'm very cheap. I'm a very I drink Budweiser. Y'all can ask Austin to to uh confirm that. I don't drink nothing expensive. I, I don't want like a real expensive wedding. I want a real cheap wedding. Like I'm not even I don't want to send out like invitations to our wedding. I want to like tell motherfuckers when I see them. Like I don't I don't understand why people get like all these super fancy invitation cards to send them. People throw those shits away. When I get invites to weddings, I throw all the fucking cards away. Why are you gonna spend like eight dollars on a card? I'm gonna get like one real expensive like fancy card. I'm just gonna get one. And then I'm gonna like take a picture of it, and I'm just gonna like, email people the picture of this of, the, of this printed invitation. I'm gonna send like evites, and that's that's how I'm gonna do my wedding invitation. Like I'm not even gonna pay for like space to have a wedding. I'm not gonna pay for like a preacher. When I send out my evite invitations, it's gonna be to somebody else's wedding at their date and time, because that's where I'm getting married at. I'm gonna go to somebody else's wedding. Me and my girl, we gonna sit in the back of their wedding, and we gonna. Wait for the preacher to tell whatever couples he's married, and we gonna do what he says to do to them. Like soon as they be like, you know, give her the ring, I'm gonna give her the ring, and we gonna be in the back though. That joke was funny when I wrote it. I'm hilarious. If y'all don't know about me, Google me. My name is uh, Jaye Toler. Like all my shit is real funny. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if y'all know this. Like uh, they got this real. Uh, they got this, what do, you, what do you call it, like, uh, this is not a stigma, what do you call the thing, stereotype, shut up, this mic is going up and down. <laughs> they got the stereotype about black people, uh, and what's wrong with this mic? They got the stereotype about, about black people loving chicken, right, that's like, that's like the stupid stereotype, it's stupid, but, uh, and then I had to do some research and I realized, like, I mean, well, so we do love chicken, but I think there's a stupid stereotype, but I don't know if y'all noticed about KFC, like, KFC, Colonel Sanders, like, he started it, 
uh, he started the whole company like way in the south. It wasn't called KFC at first. At first it was called KKKFC. <laughs> that was what it was first called, and they didn't serve they didn't serve people, they only served white it was uh it was it was just breasts and wings. It was just it was just white meat. The, 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 when they incorporated the dark meat, it was so separate. It was like you had to get the thighs and the legs like over there. That's just hilarious. That's just I'm working on some of these, but that's just hilarious. Y'all understand the premise with the dark meat and the white meat? Yeah. Shut up, that's just gonna be, that's just gonna be funny soon. And uh, then, oh, I had a little note. I'm reading off my phone, by the way, because I'm I, I don't remember. So there's a. Uh, I don't understand how chickens aren't extinct yet. Because <laughs> I mean, we everybody eats a whole lot of fucking chicken. We eat chicken. We eat all the eggs before they like can make new chickens. We take the eggs before they can make new chickens, and we eat a whole lot of chicken. There's no way that chickens fuck as much as we eat. I don't understand how they haven't gone to stink yet. There's not that many chickens. I'm gonna make that funny too one day. <laughs> this is the day. See, y'all get a treat. Y'all get the time when I first tell these jokes, and then the next time y'all see me, like, oh shit, I remember that, but it's way funnier. <laughs> so y'all stick with me. I don't understand how uh, how Little Caesars, I don't know if y'all know about Little Caesars, but they have this, this hot and ready $5 pizza. Right? It's like if you come between like 4 p.m. and 8 p.m., it's hot and ready at all times, right? So I went there at 6 o'clock one day. It was like prime time. This is in the middle. And they told me they didn't have any pepperoni pieces ready. I had to wait 15 minutes. I was like, wait a minute, nigga. It's supposed to be hot and ready for five hours. The fuck he's like, no, it's just 15 minutes. We were like, motherfucker, if I wanted to wait, I would go to Pizza Hut, pay $10, and have better pizza. I only came to Home because it's five dollars and it can get it right now. Do you know what the fuck can happen in 15 minutes? Like, while I'm waiting on my pizza, somebody can come in here, whip my ass, rob me, take my car, go to the Wawa, fill up on the gas from the credit card that they stole from me, come back, and then take my fucking pizza that should have been ready. I don't understand. Fuck Lil Caesars for not having the hot and ready pizza ready when I'm ready to eat it. I just got a couple more jokes. This gonna be real quick. I appreciate y'all sticking around. Uh, I had a homeboy. Uh, he he's not here no more. Uh, <laughs> why are you laughing? Like, I just told you. <laughs> he I mean, well, he didn't die. He he didn't die. But uh, he, this nigga was like, he was like a super criminal. This fucking mic is blowing my mind. He he was a super. This nigga, he he was like in juvenile since he was like eleven. Right? He he was in and out of juvenile. He's doing all his bad crimes, but but it wasn't. He never killed nobody. It was like a whole bunch of stealing. He used to steal a whole bunch of shit, right? And uh, so the government, I didn't even know the government could do this. You know how like uh, when you when you go to jail, you lose like your right to vote. I don't know if y'all know. You lose like your right to vote. You lose like a little little bit of stuff that you're supposed to have is like a it's like a civilian or whatever. He loses like all that. But then but then it took a citizenship. The nigga can't even be a US citizen no more. Like it's to the point that he had to he had to go to fucking Lebanon. They they made a nigga a citizen of Lebanon because of all the I don't even know. Um, <laughs> I'm working on that one. I'm working on God damn it! I'm gonna just hold this in my head. I'm not gonna say it all because I only got a couple more jokes. How you doing? I'll see you later. Um, that joke, I was gonna talk about this pastor. Y'all see this, uh, this, this black pastor who had AIDS, who was fucking all the chicks in the, in the church? Yeah. yeah. I'm not bullshit. This is, this is just Google this. Am I, am, I, am I lying? This is, this, You're not lying. This is not lying. This is a black dude. He, was, he had AIDS, and he knew he had AIDS, and he was sleeping with people in, the, in this church, right? So, like, three chicks. I didn't follow the story past like a week and a half ago. The story's like a week and a half, two weeks fresh, I promise you. So I don't know what he's doing right now, but he wouldn't step down from being a pastor. Right? He refused to step down and then had like church members trying to make him step down. Right? But he just refused. He's still a pastor. Okay. So my thing and that, well, I was talking about the dude losing the citizenship. I want him to lose his right to obviously be pastor. He shouldn't even be a member of the church. He should lose his membership at whatever church he was pastor at. And then he should in fact more than that, he should lose his right to be a Christian. They should make him like Hindu. And then, you know, like maybe Hindu don't fucking want nobody to sleep with chicks and giving them AIDS. He should lose his right to have religion. They should force this nigga to be atheist. <laughs> that joke gonna be funny. Here's what I think is funny. Shut up. Don't be laughing at the shit when I say it's supposed to be. Alright, here's something. 
<laughs> Halloween is here. Everybody talking about Halloween. I'm gonna talk about Halloween because I love Halloween. I love like how the women dress up. Uh, normally I dress up every year for Halloween. I'm gonna dress up this year. I ain't gonna tell y'all what I'm being. Just uh, follow me on Twitter or Facebook or something. Jaya told you to see where I'm going. Do y'all come? But uh, last year, I'm, I'm gonna spoil it for y'all. Last year, uh, I don't have no pictures from last year because uh, I didn't dress up last year. Last year I went out as a pimp, but I didn't dress up. Right? I was just regular clothes. Well, not as a pimp. What I did is I just went downtown and I started slapping hoes, asking where my money. <laughs> they didn't get it. I was like, but I'm a pimp. <laughs> All right, and now I'm about to go. All right, so this is the last joke. This last joke is for y'all. Uh, it's not for me. It's not because uh, I'm, I want to be a sweet comedian. This is this is for y'all because I want y'all to take this away and I want y'all to tell other people this joke and be like, y'all heard it from a dude named Johnny A. Because uh, this song is sweet. All right, so this is like LGBT month. Is it LBG? Hold on, let's make it. An LGBT Pride month. Right, so in honor of that, uh, I'm gonna tell y'all what I seen on Discovery Channel. I saw this joint on Discovery Channel. They found these new uh, dinosaur fossils, right? They, uh, and they were they were studying it, and they were able to tell that uh, the dinosaur is a new species. They, they were able to tell that it started as like a male dinosaur, and they're like, but it died as a female dinosaur. Like they they call it the Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Say that's so funny. I love it. I love it. So tell your friends where you heard it. Uh, follow me on Twitter, on Facebook, please, and then on Instagram. My name is Jaya Toler. Uh, I have a podcast. I do a podcast with uh, another comedian. I don't know if y'all know him. His name is Corey Marshall. Uh, the podcast is called Off the Pad. Uh, just so you know, it's a clean podcast, so you can listen to it and work in front of kids. We don't curse, we don't talk about nothing vulgar. I know it sounds weird because I've been cursing this now, but I can do it when I don't drink. Uh, off the pad, y'all check that out. Thank y'all for your time, man. Enjoy the rest of y'all evening. Good night. All right, the sober Christian comedy of Jai A. Toller. Let the man hear it. for sticking around, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for performance for Lennis Hosses. Yes. Uh, guys, we will be back on November 12th. That will be our four-year anniversary show. And so oh, think Ed, yes! Yes, exactly. If you stuck around, you've been around for a while, thank you so much for supporting us. By the way, uh, four more years! Four more years! Four oh, God, I gotta look at Richmond for four more years? Fuck. All right. <laughs> Keep drinking and 